Hey Rolettes and Rollers, it's me your girl Anita and I'm back with another video and in this video we are finally going to be making over our ugly oak railings. Yes, the time has come where Lonnie and I, my handy dandy assistant, have decided to finally go ahead and do the work and go ahead and stain these railings. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So right here I'm just giving you an overview of what everything looks like before we get to work. So as you can see we have a lot of railings and a lot of spindles, but that's okay because we're gonna tackle it and we're gonna get it done. Not sure how long it's gonna take us, but we're gonna get it done. So here's the supplies we're gonna be using. As you can see, we have some plastic, we have some gloves, we have um, the general finished gel stain, and I'll link that down below in my description box for you if you're interested in my Amazon store. And we also have the um, gel top coat and satin. We have some tape, because you need tape if you don't wanna get stuff all over the place. We have some sponge brushes, and of course we ended up using way more than those two. And and then we have this brush here and we also got another one of those so both of us could paint we have this clean strip cleaner to help get any gook and crime off the railings before we sand them and of course we need sandpaper and we're going to need a microfiber cloth we're going to start with this area right here because this is the smallest area so this is like our little test space so if we make a mess and we don't like how things turned out which hopefully we will then we can start over but we're going to start with this clean strip tsp substitute and i'm just going to wipe the railings down really really well you see all this gloss and stuff that will help us sand through that make sure that any extra gook and grime on here gets off before we start the sanding process so right here you see my handy dandy assistant laying down the drop cloth because we want to make sure that we don't get any of these chemicals on our carpet so right here he's just doing a light dusting to make sure we get any dust bunnies off of here before we really get to work and here I'm using that cleaner to go ahead and wipe the railings down and once you wipe these railings down do you want to let this stuff dry a little bit before you start to sand so right here, I'm getting ready to start the sanding process. And these are the sand um, paper strips that we got. I got these at Walmart, so you can find them at Walmart. And this is probably the hardest part of doing this whole entire project is the sanding. This is just a little strip, but we have a lot of railings to do. But this part was probably like the, the hardest and the most tedious. So now that that's done, I just want to vacuum up and wipe down any debris that's left. So I'm just using my little uh, Shark Rocket vacuum to just get any little debris that's on here. And then I'm taking my mi microfiber cloth and just wiping it off really, really good. So now we're going to start the taping process so we can start to really get to work. The goal here was to paint the railings black. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the railings black or black and white. So we figured we would start off doing them black. That was my original goal. So I was like, let's paint them black and go from there so that's what we're doing and right here we're just putting some extra sheets of paper under here so like I said we don't want to get anything on our carpet so now we're going to start off with the general up finishes um, gel stain this is oil based and you just want to give it a good stir before you start and now we're starting to get to work now this is just the first coat you generally have to do three coats so we do end up doing three coats but this is just the first coat and I can tell you guys right now once I get up and look at it I do not like it all black I don't like it at all I like the railings black but I do not like the um, spindles black at all. So as you can see, this is the next day and I have sanded all of those spindles because that all black wasn't working for me. So I decided to do it the top black, the middle white, and then the bottom black. So this is a different day and as you can see we moved over to the, the main stairway area where all the spindles are. So Lonnie has done all the sanding on that area and I've done all the taping and this is what it looks like once everything is sanded and taped. And I tell you this took us a long time like sanding this and taping this 
took a long time and i think earlier i said that the railings were ugly they're not ugly they're just they the oak railings just looked dated so we wanted to bring it up to date so yes as you can see i've taped all along here and taping each one of these little spindles like that took forever because it was on an angle but i got it done so here now i'm starting to paint the railings over on the other side so this is like the main railing going up to the stairs and i'm actually loving the black i don't like it all black but i do like the black on the top rail and on the main uh banister and then on the bottom i think that's a nice look The only thing about this is you have to do three coats like I mentioned earlier in the video and this is the first coat so then you have to let each coat dry overnight then you can do the next coat let it dry overnight and as you can see here you this is the first coat and you can still see the oak through it you can still see pieces of oak so I'm gonna let this dry overnight then I'll come back either to the next night or the night after that and do the second coat which is this is the next day I'm now doing the second coat And as I mentioned, this is very tedious work, but I mean, it's so rewarding when you do it yourself. So we saved a lot of money by doing the work ourselves. And this is the final coat. And as you can see, you can't see any more of the oak and it just looks so good because we wanted it solid black. I mean, you can have it if you want where you can see some of the oak through, but we don't want it like that. We wanted it solid black. So we had to get up under the railings and everything. And I think it just is looking so good up until this point. It looks really, really good. So now that we have all the coats done um, on the main rails, now it's time to do the top coat and we're gonna use this uh, sponge to paint that with as well. So here you see me just brushing lightly to put the top coat on and you also have to do three layers of this as well. And what we did is we let each layer dry overnight. So now that that's done, it's time to start priming the spindles and we're using the Sherwin-Williams Extreme Block Stain Blocking Primer. It's a primer and a sealer. So we're using this to start off with because that's what the gentleman at the store recommended. He said that it was really, really good and he did not lie. It is really good. It's kind of streaky when you first prime it, but it does work really, really well. So here I am just taping the banister where we've already stained because I don't want to get any white primer or paint on here at all because ain't nobody trying be doing that all over again <laughs> and also so I can help Lonnie um, prime the spindles so once we have everything primed now it's time to paint and we're using the Sherwin Williams Emerald urethane trim enamel paint which is really good so here you see me uh, starting the painting process the primer has dried overnight so I'm just doing the starting the painting process and yes I know I'm looking a hot mess in this video but look y'all ain't nobody trying to be looking cute when they down here doing uh, grimy dirty work and paint it just it just ain't gonna go like that this is real life <laughs> so this is the next day and I'm still uh, working on my first coat of painting these spindles and this is what it's looking like but as you can see I'm still not done I'm still touching things up still trying to make sure that the coats look nice and even evenly done so now that that air the other area is done now it's time to get back to this area and as you can see this is all primed we just have to paint it and then we will be pretty much done so we're gonna do this area together and yes, teamwork does make the dream work because I tell you, I probably could have did this by myself, but it would probably would have taken me three months instead of three weeks. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's nice to be able to have someone to help you take on a project like this. And I can tell you guys, we save so much money by doing this work ourselves. Um, this, this whole makeover only cost us $120 and that's including all of the supplies. So it was well worth it. How do you feel about this project? <laughs> <laughs> this project put some work. It was not easy. It's tedious. You like it though? I love it. Compared to that oak, this stuff looks great. So I had a good idea? Yes, you had a good idea. <laughs> you know it took a hundred years. <laughs> but you the best handy dandy assistant in the world. That I am. <laughs> So right here, I'm just doing some touch-ups and covering up any areas where we might have gotten any of the white paint over on the black because we want it to look as nice and neat and crisp as possible. 
So here is one last look at the before. And here's a look at the after. I have to say that although this was a lot of work, we are so pleased with how these railings turned out. They turned out better than we ever could have imagined. But you guys know what I always say. Some of you are going to like them. Some of you will not. But that's okay because we absolutely love them. I also want to say that if you're new to my channel, hey y'all, hey, I'm Anita. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the family. To all my returning subscribers, you guys know how I feel about y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. Y'all know y'all mean the world to me. And if you happen to be stopping by and you like what you see, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and become part of the family. Also, don't forget to hit your notification bell so that you don't miss any videos that I upload but that's going to do it for this video guys I hope that you enjoyed it and as always I just want to say thank you so much for watching thanks for rolling with your girl I love y'all and I'll see you in my next video stay safe please wear your mask and God bless bye